Hi everybody, uh, this is a quick walkthrough of the course shell. Um, so I'm in Oaks, which I got to by going to lms.cfc.edu, and I'm viewing as a student, so what you're seeing should be, uh, what you're seeing in this screen should be pretty close to what you'd be seeing on your own screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on notifications. Um, you want to make sure that uh, your notifications are coming to your email and if you want you can register your cell phone number so you'll get a text message uh, when a notification pops up in Oaks I would highly 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 recommend that um, so you can uh, choose here uh, what you want what kind of notifications you want in Oaks. So if you want a grade item updated, um, which is when you will when you get assigned grades, um, you can choose how you get that notification. So I would recommend one at the very least for grades. Uh, the only quiz for this semester will be the quiz you do on the first day, so that's less important. Um, content item updated or created will be important assignment uh, feedback released would be important and then super super important are uh, announcements and news so I would go through and I would turn on announcements um, feedback released uh, assignment due date two days away that's important um, content item Created or updated, that's important. Discussion, that's important. And the grade item updated. Um, and then you can choose how you want um, you know, those notifications sent. So that's the first thing. Turn on your notifications because um, it's a quick semester and it's easy to let things kind of fall by the wayside um, in an online course, especially if you're not logging in. Um, and if you do that, it uh, you know you're you're pretty behind. So, part one, turn on notifications. Part two, uh, so there are a couple ways to access content. I'll be using um, this calendar function in Oaks. So today, you need to read the syllabus. Um, there are always two kind of links in these calendar entries. And the first link is the link to the thing itself. So if I click on syllabus. It'll take me to the syllabus, which I've set up as an online, uh, as a as a website. Um, the other link. I'm just gonna go back here. The other link takes you to a checklist, which is another way to interact with the content. Um, so every unit will have a checklist um, and once you're done with an item you can take it off save it um, and it gives you a completion timestamp another way to get to these checklists are to go to content and you'll actually get a progress bar when you check stuff off the checklist um, so yeah, so in every kind of module um, or unit, there will be a checklist at the top like there is here or here um, where you'll have the option to tick things off as complete and then the link below will take you to the activity. So these two things are PDFs um, and then these three bottom pieces are shorter writing assignments. So this is a blog due to the discussion post yep um, so that's kind of the the short walkthrough as we do more in the course as you turn to major assignments and get feedback you'll see more of these kinds of videos but th that's basically how the content works so in some turn on your notifications uh, and yeah, spend some time walking through the content of the course um, yep that's it.